Good morning. I'd like to thank the Cheyenne Regional Medical Center for hosting this important event. The Wyoming Highway Patrol takes a zero stance with drivers and passengers who fail to buckle up while operating or riding in a motor vehicle. May 23rd through June 5th, law enforcement nationwide will be paying particular close attention that occupants who are buckled or not buckled. Safety belt use in Wyoming is lower than that of surrounding states and is typically below the national average, as you've heard from our governor. Though vehicle fatalities do occur, when safety belts are worn, your chance of survival is greatly improved when you are buckled up. Last year, there were 145 fatalities on Wyoming roads. Of these, 104 were Wyoming residents, of which 76 or 73% were unrestrained. Conversely, there were 41 non-resident fatalities, of which 32% were unrestrained. During 2015, Wyoming residents killed in vehicle crashes who were not wearing their seatbelt was more than double than that of non-residents. Without a doubt, had they taken a few seconds to buckle their seatbelts, the outcomes may have been very different. As law enforcement officers with the Wyoming Highway Patrol, our troopers witness on a daily basis the devastating results from poor choices that others have made by not buckling up. Typically, unbuckled uh, occupants are ejected from their vehicle during a rollover crash, almost always resulting in death. We all have the ability to influence drivers and occupants to buckle up. Law enforcement does this in many ways. Education, awareness, training, as well as issuing citations for those who choose to not buckle up. In fact, it is nationally recognized that when a law enforcement officer does have to issue a citation for not buckling up, compliance with the seatbelt laws and making people safer becomes higher. You frequently hear, quote, don't risk it, click it or tick it. You've heard that quite a few times this morning already. The truth of it is, we are talking about saving lives. Lowering the number of fatalities that occur in Wyoming every year, I wish a ticket would be the only consequence for not buckling up. To date, for 2016, we have had 14 fatalities, 10 of which were Wyoming residents. And seven or 70% of those fatalities were not buckled up. Additionally, as of May 10th, there have been 484 rollover crashes in our state so far. Of those 484 rollovers, there were 617 occupants that were properly restrained in a seat belt or child seat who survived the crash. Once again, seat belts do save lives. In closing, by making, making it a priority to enforce the seatbelt law and for everyone to wear them, the difference we will make will be measured in the lives that we save in the future.